Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Frank Sinatra and his daughter didn't talk for a year. She revealed his last apology before death. When Frank Sinatra left his first wife and three children, his youngest daughter was only seven months old. Despite being in regular contact, they had a strained relationship, and at one point, they didn't talk for a year. But in the days leading to his passing, they spoke, and Sinatra apologized for hurting her. Frank Sinatra, the iconic American singer, actor, and producer, passed away in 1998 at 82, succumbing to a heart attack. He shared his final moments with his wife and children at Cedar sinai Medical Center. His youngest child recently shared insights into their relationship and poignant conversation before his passing. Born in December 1915 in New Jersey, Sinatra embarked on his singing career in the 1930s, swiftly becoming one of the most adored entertainers of the 20th century. His velvety voice and captivating charisma endeared him to audiences globally, leading to numerous albums, film appearances, and an Academy Award. A pioneer of modern pop superstardom, Sinatra started making his mark in the early 1940s with solo performances that rivaled the hysteria later associated with Elvis Presley and the Beatles. With a career spanning more than five decades, Sinatra mirrored the American psyche, becoming a singular figure in show business. His filmography includes 58 movies, earning him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for the 1953 film, From Here to Eternity. As an actor, Sinatra conveyed the same emotional complexity seen in his singing blending honesty, vulnerability, and confidence. However, his role choices were occasionally indifferent or unwise. Sinatra's romantic journey was as dynamic as his career, marked by four marriages and three children from his initial union with childhood sweetheart Nancy Barbato. Their love story began in their teenage years, culminating in marriage in 1939, just as Sinatra's singing career was poised for greatness. During their early years, the Sinatras inhabited a modest Jersey City apartment, witnessing the birth of their two eldest children, a daughter, Nancy, and a son, Frank Jr. Barbato worked as a secretary while Sinatra pursued his career, initially as a singing waiter. However, fame's ascent led the couple to Los Angeles, where Sinatra transitioned into a pop music sensation in the 40s and subsequently became a movie star. This special gave viewers an intimate view of the performers known for their loose, off-the-cuff, and unpredictable chemistry they shared on stage and screen. Musical performances, comedy sketches, and family moments were interwoven with guest appearances by legendary figures like Jimmy Stewart, Jackie Gleason, and Bing Crosby. Tina, the guardian of her father's show business legacy, expressed the timeliness of revisiting this holiday special in the spirited Rat Pack style. Her sentiment was driven by the joy she derived from watching the show and the intuitive feeling that it was the right moment to share a bit of holiday cheer. She said, We love the season as a family. We still love it. The revival of this special served as a touching tribute to two of the most iconic performers of the 20th century. It shed light on the personal lives and relationships that defined their legacies. Sinatra was one of the most iconic singers of the 20th century, and his music continues to be celebrated today. Despite his unparalleled success, the complexities of his relationship with his daughter Tina unfolded over time. It wasn't until the final days of Sinatra's life that he found the words to express regret and extend an apology for all the hurt he had caused. Tina's recollection of their final conversation is a touching tribute to one of the greatest entertainers in history offering valuable insights into Sinatra's personal life and relationships. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe for more.